With ratification of the Treaty of Ghent, the War of 1812 drew to a close. Who won? Or did anyone win? Neither the British nor the Americans gained or lost any territory, so perhaps no one won. But the United States was in many ways a changed country in the post-war years. The U.S. was destined to become a larger player on the international scene. The U.S. ended the war a more confident nation. America proved herself a capable foe for the world's greatest military power. Stephen Decatur, a naval officer who served with great distinction in the war, won more fame in the immediate post-war years for his victories in the Second Barbary War, which nearly propelled him to a presidential run in 1820. Andrew Jackson's stunning victory at New Orleans at the end of the war did in fact launch his political career, ultimately sending him to the White House in 1829. The country emerged from the War of 1812 with a growing navy. Following the war, Congress authorized a buildup of naval forces, the only time America ever added ships after a war. The ship of the line USS Columbus was part of this effort, launched in March 1819 at the Washington Navy Yard. Ohio and Pennsylvania also belonged to the group of nine ships of the line. With this new emphasis on the Navy, the direction of the nation's defense was set. With 70% of the globe covered by water, with 80% of people living by the water, and with 90% of all trade traveling by water, the world's oceans are vital to commerce in an increasingly interconnected world. Our Navy was there in the past and will be there in the future, working to keep the sea lanes open. America's Navy keeping the sea free for more than 200 years.